Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. <clears throat> Today, we are going to discuss a case law regarding straight away you can say constructive res judicata. Very recently, Honorable Supreme Court of India, two judges bench, Justice M. R. Shah and Madam B. V. Nagaratna, while disposing the case of Premlata alias Sunita versus Naseeb B in Civil Appeal Number Tribunal 5 uh, 2055 and 2056 by 2022 on 23rd March 2022 held that either the defendant and he in this case the defendant please remember or a litigant we can say a litigant cannot take two contradictory stands before the different courts already told you section 11 deals with res judicata so when you in particularly explanation 4 i told you when you take a stand as a matter of offense as a matter of defense when you take a stand it must be only on the particular thing i told you that uh, up state versus uh, that muslim man uh, police si case azam khan case also where the SI, in the first instance, uh, he stated that uh, he was not given an opportunity to defend himself and when the matter was appealed, he said that uh, DAZ is not the competent uh, uh, authority, Shah Nawaz Hussain, Nawab Hussain, yes. So like that, when you take a stand, you must be on the same stand. This is what is the main principle in constructive res judicata, right? Once again, such incident has come to the notice of the court. So this happened in uh, Madhya Pradesh state. So let us go the, into the details of the case. The plaintiff, Premlata Alia Sunita, right? She filed a case before Taisaldar. The original proceedings were filed before the Taisaldar under section 250 of the Madhya Pradesh Land Revenue Court. And at that time, the defendants, that is Naseeb and others, uh, so they raised objection that uh, this land revenue code does uh, this or section 250 does not apply to this particular case that means the revenue people have no jurisdiction maybe suit for declaration of the things you make certain things uh, so normally revenue people may not be able to decide so therefore they clearly filed a petition that uh, this does not come under mp land revenue code particularly under section 250 so that means the revenue people have no authority to decide the same. So what does it mean? Only civil court is competent. Okay, Taisaldar agreed for the same. No doubt, the plaintiff, they, she did not keep quiet. She approached the RDO under section 44, but RDO did not give any decision. Right, so the matter is actually, is actually pending before the RDO. While the matter stands thus, the plaintiff approached the trial court. That means uh, since they said that uh, RDO, uh, Tesla has clearly said that we don't have jurisdiction, why don't you go and file uh, before a civil case? Then as per his advice or whatever it is, the matter was brought to the trial court. Same thing. Once again, the defendants objected, raised, stating, uh, objected and they filed the application. <coughs> Order 7, Rule 11, the rejection of the plaint. So, rejection of the plaint that uh, the suit is barred under Section 257 of the so, Madhya Pradesh Land Revenue Code. There, according to Section 250, they say that uh, revenue people have no authority. Once again, here they say that suit is barred. So, you cannot file a suit before the Land Revenue Officer. This is 100% correct. So, therefore, they filed a petition before the Tassilar. Right. Now the point is, so rejection of the plaint, but the court refused the same. When the matter was placed before Tassilar, you refused. When it came as to the civil court, once again you are saying that uh, the revenue people have got the authority. You are giving yourself two contradictory statements. It is not correct. Therefore, trial court rejected the petition <coughs> of uh, the defendants. Therefore, the defendant now approached the High Court. So, High Court in its vision, whatever it is, in its wisdom I can say. So, they have allowed the 
a request of uh, the defendants. Order 7, Rule 11 was allowed. That means client was rejected. Right? Now, matter has come to the Supreme Court. So, Supreme Court has clearly stated that Section 11, Class 4 of the CPC, very basic thing. So, a litigant cannot uh, take two contradictory statements before two different courts. Maybe a regulated authority, maybe revenue authority, what it is also equal to court. So, please remember, <coughs> Supreme Court clearly stated that uh, you cannot take advantage of the situation. When you take a defense, you must stand by the same defense. So, therefore, the order of the High Court is set aside and the appeal is allowed, it is succeeded. That means, uh, <coughs> the case has to be tried by the civil court only. So, this is the best glaring example as to how the litigants take advantage. Litigants take advantage of the situation. First, they said the revenue court has no authority. So, the matter was uh, post, uh, taken to the civil court. They say that civil court... Uh, it cannot have an authority, so therefore, as per the section 257, once again, revenue. What is this? Not correct. So, to clear up the air, Supreme Court has clearly stated that a litigant cannot take two different stands. Okay? Right. Thank you very much.